Hello everybody, it is Monday, the final day of August, and good god, look at that stack. That is nine envelopes right there coming in today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine envelopes coming in. Unfortunately, it uh, looks like three of them, maybe four of them, got kind of crumpled in the back of the mailbox. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mail Delivery Person, for just shoving them on in there. So hopefully we've got some good stuff, though, to show off here, and hopefully no damage. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, I looked up to see who they all were. Uh, by now, I've forgotten because, I mean, for God's sake, there's nine of them here. So let's just go on through and see what we get here. So, all right, we'll start with one of these uh, ones got a little bit crumpled. This is... Initials JM and his postmark from Santa Ana, California. Feels really thick. Like there's a lot going on in this thing. So uh, let's see what we've got here. And hopefully it's not another Kevin Bass situation. Light is kind of. Yeah, we'll see if that helps out. All right. So that was a very good one. All right. So we got back. Uh, this one I wrote to thanks to a Reindeer Studios. Did a drawing of him and mailed some cards off. And I got him back now as well after I picked up some. Uh, Picked up some cards of him. And that is Joe Moeller, who also included his own uh, religious piece there. But also signed the cards I sent, so very happy with that. Moeller was a teammate of my dad's former neighbor, George Brunette. Show off a couple of these cards here real quick. Played with him in the minor leagues for a little while. And there's a couple of those ones that he signed. So very happy to get that one back. Found those cards on uh, Sport Lots. Sent them off. Made about a week or so turnaround to uh, get them back. So great to add that one. Let's move on to the next one. Initials DR. This one is postmarked from right here in North Texas. Let's see. And this one feels like it might have something. Yeah, it looks like it's got some extra bonus material in it as well. So those would be kind of cool, too. Uh, what do we got here? All right. looks like an extra couple of photos put in by this particular player. One extra photo. And again, some uh, religious propaganda, basically. But it's uh, from Dave Roberts right there. Signed the uh, tract there. And also the cards that I sent as well. Former catcher, third baseman, probably a little bit of other stuff too for the Blue Jays, the Phillies, the Rangers, the Padres. Um, God, did he play anywhere else at all? I think uh, Astros, it looks like as well. May have played elsewhere too, but at least all those. Oh, it's right there, Astros. It's right in front of me. Wow. So, but there you go. So played for several teams. Um, got a few cards signed by him here as well. Great to get that one back too. So a couple of very nice ones here to start off that came with some bonus material. By the way, this nine that have come in today now tie my single best day ever with uh, nine envelopes coming in. It was uh, November 13th, 2017, I think is what I looked up before. Got nine back on that day as well. Let's continue on to this one. The initials are P.O. on this one, also from here in North Texas. And this one, I do remember exactly who it is. And it's going to be former Rangers and Indians first baseman, Pete O'Brien. And so with that, we'll pull up a couple of these here. Went for a couple of oddball ones here on these ones. Got the uh, Tops Mini League Leaders card and the, uh, what is the Performance Printing team set there. So glad to get those ones back. He's a guy that's done a lot of the uh, Rangers alumni events as well. Anytime at the old uh, Rangers ballpark there. Hopefully they continue with those. Um, not really betting on it though. They've kind of scaled it back the last few years. It used to be that right around this time, usually be in July or August, they would do a full alumni weekend where they would induct... Typically, like, one or two players or former team executives or somebody like that into the Team Hall of Fame. So they'd have those guys out there signing autographs for the fans. They'd bring in a whole bunch of former players, too. And uh, when I first started doing this, it was only on the Saturday of the weekend that they would uh, do the signing. But you would have, like, this area there with just a whole bunch of tables set up. You just bounce from table to table, line to line, no problem. Get everybody to sign stuff for you. And they really kind of toned it back quite a bit where uh, instead of having it all in one area on one day... They started doing it across the entire weekend. So you have a few signers on Friday and a few signers on Saturday. They usually wouldn't have signers on Sunday. I think they may have started doing Sunday later on, but um, they wouldn't have them all in one area either. They started to space them out around the ballpark. So you'd have like one group way over by the uh, third base entrance, one group over close to the first base entrance, one group right near home plate, and one group all the way out in center field. So you'd have to walk the entire loop around the ballpark, basically, and hopefully you get into short lines to be able to get everybody. So... There were a few weekends there um, when they started doing that where I would miss out on a couple players. But uh, something that sometimes helped, though, is that usually you could catch the players walking around during the game if they, you know, left the suite to go and hit the concession stands or something or, you know, go have a smoke or whatever. So I got lucky and was able to get a bunch of guys that way, at least. Um, some guys who weren't even there for signing who just came for the event and stuck around for part of the game. 
sometimes you'd see them out there. So uh, that's that's why I have a lot of Todd Van Poppel signed cards in my collection. A lot of uh, Bobby Witt, uh, Charlie Huff, all those kind of guys. Toby Hara. So, yeah, I'm hoping they do that again, but uh, I'm not really betting on it. So, anyways, side, after that sidebar, we've got one here from St. Paul, Minnesota. I don't have any initials on here. It's got a regular forever stamp on here. I may have sent this one out maybe a couple years ago even, but I think it might be one of the former 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team guys. Let's see if that's who it is. Index card in here, too. And looks like, yes, it is going to be Mr. Buzz Schneider. Great success out of him. Got two cards there. One's a little bit of a smudge on. Nothing too bad, though. And he also signed the protective index card on there, also putting on 80 gold USA, number 23, I believe is what he had there. So, wow. So 23, 25, something like that. It's uh, 25. Okay. Yeah, 25. So really great to add that one as well. So three of them so far out of what? Four or five? Three out of four with bonus signed material. So I'm very happy with this one so far already today. Let's move on to Charlotte, North Carolina. Initials are JJ, and I think this one is going to be former Yankee pitcher Jeff Johnson coming back to me. And bingo, that is who it is. Went for the Tops Gold. We'll show that one. And the uh, 1291 Tops traded here as well. I was a fan of those Tops Gold ones. Anytime I can get those ones signed. Gotten a lot of the gold winner ones. This is one of the first. This may be the first one of the uh, non-gold uh, winner ones that I've gotten signed. So cool to add that one. May have gotten a Franklin Stubbs now that I think about it. But yeah, either way, glad to add that. Let's see who we have here next. This is going to be JT from Santa Barbara, California. This one is former catcher for the Baltimore Orioles, Jeff Tackett. The catcher myself in Little League, so anytime I get a chance to write to a catcher, I'm always going to take up the uh, that chance. So there you go. There's a couple of the ones that he signed. All right, we have, what, three left here? Yeah, three left. We have DM from Indianapolis, Indiana, and as you see right there, he put his own return label on the back of it as well. So Dyer Miller is, uh, as you probably saw, who this is going to be. So I will note from him in here as well. I've heard he usually writes notes back. I've uh, even heard somebody getting an email from him saying, hey, uh, your cards are on their way. Thanks for uh, email or thanks for uh, sending to me. So great to get that. So here we go. We'll show off those cards first. I always love getting the senior league set signed. So uh, here you go. Got one of those and that 81 Tops Mets card. Also the 77. We'll show the 77 off too. Why not? So there we go. Usually, I've probably mentioned this before, I typically send like anywhere from like two to four cards per player. I'll usually only show off two at a time just because, I mean, it's easy to do and move on to the next one. But there you go. I try not to send more than four if I can possibly avoid it, though. Just, I mean, I get real tired of people who, you know, go sending out eight or ten or whatever. And they go, well, I mean, if he wants to sign it, uh, show some self-restraint. I mean, come on, geez. See a guy like uh, Rick Rochel, who was, you know, a great signer for a long time and then suddenly quits because, you know, he's getting six cards from everybody once a month. It's like... Maybe tone it back a little bit there, guys. You know, send only once a year. Send only, you know, mo no more than four at a time. Something like that. But there you go. So, note back from uh, Dyer Miller says, Hi, Drew. Thanks for your nice letter, and thanks for being a baseball fan. I hope you're enjoying the 2020 MLB season. Yes, I played for the DFW Spurs for two years, 70 to 71. I enjoyed playing baseball in the Dallas area. It was a great place to play, double A. Luckily, I got to pitch there again in 75, Orioles versus the Rangers. I got my first MLB win there. Best wishes to you and your family. God bless, Dyer. Really good. Great, uh, great response there. So, Again, we're at, I mean, four out of seven sending extra stuff. So, wow, very good day in terms of the volume and really in terms of the quality here as well. So, we've got another one here. This one's from Traverse City, Michigan. The initials are DR. I remember who it was, and off the top of my head, I can't remember now, but yeah, let's we'll see who this is. That's right. Pitcher Dennis Rasmussen, or Padre, Yankee, Red, um, who else? the Cubs for a little bit. But yeah, he signed, uh, let's see, is there anybody else? Yeah, I think that's it. So there you go. Signed before I sent, and uh, there's a couple of them. I was like the 93 Donruss set. Don't know why, just it's one that I bought a lot of when I was younger, so I guess it just ended up as a favorite of mine. So I was glad to get those ones signed. And finally, we're on to the last one. Number nine is postmark from West Palm Beach, Florida. The initials on it are TM. There we go. All right, get it out open. 
And this one, all right, so another 72 set hit. Unfortunately, oof, the uh, pretty rough pen on there, but uh, Tom McCraw, former catcher for the Rangers and the Indians, signed the two cards I sent and also the index card too. So there you go, a whole bunch of bonus stuff along with all of the signed cards here today. So uh, I may be a new personal record for most of a single month now too, along with the, uh, I mean, nine successes today is my best ever single day for successes. Um, Five bonus items in addition to the cards here. So let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 38 signed items in the mail today in nine successes. That might be records on both of those, and I may have surpassed a new record for a single month. I'll have all that info at some point here eventually. Uh, yeah. Wow, that was a long one. I mean, we're at 11 minutes already now, and uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, I still have to post my uh, success from Saturday as well. It'll be following right after this. I was going to do that on uh, Saturday and then push back and figure, well, I'll do it on Sunday, and then, well, I filmed three different show-off Sunday videos on Sunday and never got around to editing the post one. So the good part is, though, I've got three filmed for the next three weeks, so... Should have some uh, time to show off some cool stuff in there. So uh, once again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so. It should be right down there, I think, or right down there. Not really sure. It's one of those sides somewhere down there. Just hit it. You'll see it. It says subscribe. Hit that, and you'll you'll get updates on whenever all the stuff comes out. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Got Saturday's success upcoming here. Ignore anything I say about a show off Sunday video because I didn't get to it. Might have some from Aubrey, might not. Uh, you know, usually we film all that on Sunday, but her air conditioning went out yesterday. So she's like, hey, uh, we're going to just have to postpone dinner until Monday at least. So it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go, ahead and, go ahead and do that and hope you get that fixed up. She said, yeah, they got a pair of people in today. So yeah, hopefully we'll have uh, some from her here soon as well. But at the very least, right here, we've got Saturday's success. Got one in the mailbox today, along with an envelope from uh, Mr. Brian Kidwell, uh, buying one of the uh, coin cards off me. That should be headed your way here probably on Monday. I'll be able to get that into the box. So uh, let's see what we've got in this one here. Springfield, Missouri is the uh, postmark on it. BV, the initials. I think this might be my 72 Tops Bill Verdon that I just picked up fairly recently. Let's see what we've got in here. That is exactly who it is. Also signed the uh, 84 tops that I unclosed and an index card as well. Show off cards there. We'll do the index card there first, you know, real quick. Signature is still looking good. A little bit shaker than it used to be, but not too bad. I've definitely seen a lot worse. So uh, great on him, though, for signing these. And there you go. So another addition for the 72 high numbers. Getting closer to 450 on these things now. I Originally, at one point, I thought, you know, even 500 might be a little bit too long of a goal. I think that might be doable. I mean, I'm getting out of the guys who are free signers, but there's still a lot of guys out there that are cheap signers. There's a few, actually, in excuse me, in the high numbers that are free signers too. But uh, need to get a hold of those ones first. But still, I mean, 500. I think 500 might be doable on that. So there you go. Once again, check out SportsCardForum.com for all sorts of info on how to TTM, how to find all the addresses, whatever you need. It's all right there. Hey. Hello. We are here together <laughs> and got a card. Yay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. She's just, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Topeka, Kansas. Not too far from uh, from your area there. A couple right, hours. Right? Yeah. A couple hours from Kansas City. So, we'll see who it is. <gasps> There's another note. Ooh. Okay. He's writing. Okay. Hold on. There's stuff I am here. like baffled here. Okay. It is from Ken Berry. All right. Ooh. Sorry, Ken Berry. Nice. I also got um, information regarding comeback. Oh, I, I think that might be a book that he's doing or something like that. I possibly. think that's what this is. Okay. So it says, FYI, he is. Um, Ooh, he has published a novel which includes much of his baseball experience. Um, it's going to be a baseball book like none other, including baseball, romance, some sci-fi, and many experiences in paperback format. 
and he says that it is finished and over a thousand copies have been sold in two months. Wow. So way to go, Ken. And also, oh my golly, this is quite the note. Wow, that's a that's a full page right. letter. Right, yeah. Back. Okay, so wow. here is my, I write a lot. I'm back there. I can't help it because um, I'm nosy. <laughs> and um, so he says, Oh, kids books something only five dollars so maybe he's written a kids book too we'll find out but it says i'll be glad to sign i've written seven kids books. oh for kids uh, from ages two to seven and they have been well received i've enclosed my card and the latest novel might be something you would like if so give me a call uh the the cover i think okay to a 1967 Sports Illustrated sign comes with it. It has Mickey Mantle, and I am on the cover. Thanks, Ken. Wow. Way to go. So cool that might be something there. to check out. Yeah. I would definitely like to add that to the collection. So. Definitely. Well, there you go. So Ken Berry, um, baseball player and author apparently now. And right? Got that one back quickly. I definitely at least want the kids' books. Oh, yeah. 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 Looks like they've got a website there and everything, too. Right? So. Check it out. Yeah, you said I could call him. I'm not going to, but yeah, I could. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I'll make phone calls. Yeah, I've, I've had a few send me numbers and stuff. I'm right. like, I'm not good at that. I, right. I, I thanks, thanks for signing, <laughs> but I, I, I'm not a good, good phone person. <laughs> that sounds like a little much, but. Yeah. Cool though. I'm in the website there at least. So that's always right. Good, so. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. So Ken Berry, awesome. Well, uh, yeah. There you go. Checksportscardforum.com. Great site. That's right. Yeah.